just so you know, people, I am a brony. So, what I mean is, I become a fan, am a fan, of the 2010 My Little Pony reboot. Like, and of course, I've all, I've enjoyed the first seven seasons. Well, I mean, season seven hasn't been finished yet, but still. And I've seen the Equestria Girls movies as well, and I've seen every episode of it. And then I got excited and I finally saw the movie. Last, like it was on Thursday night at 7 p.m. during its early showing. And I must say, it was godforsakenly amazing! <gasps> Everything was great, all like great story, great animation, all effort, like all greats equal one amazing. <sighs> Okay, okay, I just gotta, just keep calm, I don't want to be too crazy. Alright, now, just to clarify, first off, what can I say about the story? The story is basically, like, the main six from Hicks, like the main characters, Twilight Sparkle, Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Applejack, Rarity, Fluttershy, and of course Spike the Baby Dragon, they were all supposed to do, like, as Princess of Friendship, Twilight Sparkle, she's trying to host a friendship festival, like, for a singer, Sarah, Songbird Serenade, who's voiced by Sia, by the way. But then it's all interrupted when suddenly, suddenly they get approached by, approached by storm clouds, as was Commander Tempest, who was sent by the main villain of this, the Storm King. King. And Tempest threatens to take the magic from all four of the princesses of friendship. But met, luckily, Twilight managed to escape with the help of her six closest friends. And, uh. And of course. Uh, first, now, in order to save the princesses and stop a threat in Equestria, they'll have to leave Equestria and travel to. How about the unknown world, making friends and getting help? That's all I can say. Now, what can I say about the story? It's, uh, it's definitely rather formulaic. Heck, it reminded me of the, of the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Like, the main character is, like, summoned, like, summoned and, well, actually, the main character must leave his hometown and go to an unknown world that, oh, but that's... But I like the Spongebob movie, so there's a, there's no complaint here. Also, another nitpick is it can be rather formulaic-like or repetitive until the third act. But that's all I can say here. The story was good. I'll give that a 7 out of 10. Now, what can I say about the animation? Oh, actually, first I want to bring up the humor. Like, there was definitely plenty of in-references and humor that some bronies like me might be able to get. And of course, adult humor and, again, I said, in references. And of course, it even comes from my two favorite ponies, Rainbow Dash and Pinkie Pie. Hi, in terms of the humor. And of course, of course, it also comes from new characters that I'll get to later. Now, to talk about the animation. Well, all I can say is I'm glad they, that this one is actually traditionally animated. Only it's like a new kind of flash animation that they made look like hand drawn, like by Toon Boom Harmony, and well, other than uh, the only nitpick I can say is the CGI that combines with hand drawn can be distracting, like like how uh, like. Well, it's not as distracting as Titan AE or Treasure Planet. It's definitely an improvement on those. And of course, the animation does make the action sequences very, very nice to look at. And of course, even the choreography of the musical numbers. numbers. Then, uh... And let's see. He, other than that, the animation... It is spectacular, visuals, oh, and even the comedic expressions are good, too. And now, I want to bring up, bring up, like, 
of the characters. Well, the main six, Twilight, Applejack, Rainbow Dash, Rarity, Fluttershy, Fluttershy, I, Pinkie Pie, I, and of course Spike, they're all still themselves, and we got many great cameos and appearances from most of the background ponies, and even some of the, some of the great characters we've known. Even Starlight, Glimmer, and Trixie just made the same appearance, like, only twice throughout the whole movie. Like, just cameos. Now, I will nitpick about the fact that Discord and Shining Armor were hardly in this. Well, they were not in the movie at all, just so you know. And not all the Cutie Mark Crusaders were in this, just Apple Bloom made an appearance. Then again, they just couldn't put every character in, I mean, but... I'll give credit, they at least, he's still had most of the characters, even Derpy Hooves, those, with his uh, appearance, and, and the role, like, and now, oh, I'd like to, uh, now on to the new characters, oh, and hers, uh, like, these are, and the voice actors, like, Captain Selina, who's voiced by Zoe Saldana, is one of my favorite new characters. Right next to the others, I'll get to, like, Princess Skystar and Princess and Queen Inovo, who are each vo- like, Princess Skystar is voiced by Christian Chenoweth, while Queen Novo is voiced by Uzo- Uzo Ubono, I think I pronounced her name right. These two, who are, like, great sea ponies, like, a mother and daughter, you can tell which, which. They're also fun to watch, and of course, the rest of the new characters are good too. Like, there's Capper, who, who's like an anthropomorphic cat character, voiced by Tay Diggs. And, uh, and of course, the villains that are Commander Tempest, voiced by Emily Blunt, and Storm King, played by Reeve Schreiber. Actually, okay, the Storm King was pretty weak of a villain. Like, just because he seems more goofy than intimidating. He reminds me of Burger Beard from the Spongebob movie 2, Sponge Out of Water. And now, now for Captain Selena, you know, of the anthropomorphic pirate parrots, what I like about her is how loyal she is to her crew, which makes her like the perfect counterpart for Rainbow Dash, especially with their interactions and their friendly rivalry. Very. In fact, Princess Sky Star works well off of Pinkie Pie, I, as I always figured. And, uh, yeah, every new character is great too. Songbird Serenade, he only makes a cameo, but at least, sh at least her voice actress, Sia, who's more of a singer, at least she sung a song, so that makes her not feel wasted. And the new voice actors sound like they're having fun. And, of course, or the villain's henchman, like that hedgehog voiced by Michael Pena, he's okay, I guess. Yes, he got a few laughs out of me, but... But aside from two nitpicks, the rest of the characters were still, oh, fun to watch. And now for the songs. I absolutely love them. Nothing much to say. I mean, there's the Festival of Friendship and... And... Um, the friend you need, which are good. I mean, my two favorite songs would have to be, have to be like one small thing, because of how catchy and and uplifting it is, and of course, it's time to be awesome, which is so epic and and well, and of course, good. Now they, and of course, at the last minute, I heard for a fact that at the last minute, Daniel Ingram kind of inserted. At the last minute, they inserted the music video parody of We Got the Beat. Beat. Only for the opening credits. Like they showed in the trailer. But, other than that, all the songs are great. Nothing. There was none that made me say, eh, it's okay. And now for my final thoughts of the film. Overall, the My Little Pony movie was definitely, as I said again, amazing. Heck, maybe it, I might even see it again when, in Watson theaters. So, well, I wouldn't say it, a that the non-bronies will 
be able to like it. So if you're not a brony, maybe you wait for the DVD. Yeah. But if you are, then go ahead and watch it while it's still in theaters. Because, you know, it might not make as much money as Blade Runner 2. Ay. But, well, but at least, but I guarantee you take a look, well, that you, Brony, should take a look at it. Great char characters and animation and animation and musical numbers. So, as a film critic, I give it three stars out of five. But as a My Little Pony fan, I give it a rating of four, why well, no, five gold stars. Probably one of my favorite movies of 2017. Heen. So, My Little Pony the movie. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? Comment below and let me know in the comments below. And, uh, oh. Or, have you seen the animated series? What did you think about it? Comment below and let me know. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.